In December 2018, on the way to the grotto to see where Jesus was born, and you can see here, smiling Mary. She smiled only, uh, only the beginning of when he was born, but um, when he, she been told that the son will die in front of her eyes, from that moment, well, that was a presentation of the temple, she never smiled. And if you look at the art of Mary, she never smiled. Remember smiling Mary? Family, remember the smiling Mary that we saw in the shop? This is the only smiling Mary. Now we are going down to see where he was born. Um, it will take us a few minutes, but stay with us. If you are not visiting Palestine at Christmas time, then uh, wait with us and you, it's like you are now visiting with us. This is the church of the nativity. It's never been so empty. The reason I must be quiet is because of the procession, the Greek Orthodox procession. And um, I cannot talk. If you walk those stairs, we will reach a cave. Now, you know that a cave is not part of the story. Your, the manager is usually like, you know. But it's not like that. In Israel, at the time uh, of Jesus was born, poor families lived in caves. If you didn't have money, the only way is to live in a cave. A cave is already here, you don't have to pay for that. It's cool in winter time and it's warm in the summertime. Uh, sorry, it's cool in summertime and cold in winter time. Um, you will see the star of the nativity soon. That is the place that Jesus was born. Again, wait with me. It's like you are now visiting. Sorry, Camille, say hi. Camille is a Palestinian tour guide, one of the best, I must say. I agree. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> I cannot laugh here. It's not allowed. But again, Camille, this. Oh, you're, you're doing it? No, no, thank you. Camille, it's a miracle. We are in the Greek Orthodox part. Slowly, slowly, we'll enter to the nativity. And wait a minute, please. We are now on the way. I uh, can see that the group there is taking pictures of the grotto. Uh, of the nativity. Uh, grotto is here, then wait with me a little bit. I'm skipping part of it. Then instead of waiting another minute, uh, you will be on hold. Here I am again. This is the Greek Orthodox um, part of the cave. Uh, to the right you will see the star itself. 14 points. It's all about the generation between King David to Jesus. And now it's the start. That is the exact place that we believe that Jesus was born. And to see the manger as well yeah. on the other side. Camille yeah, sending us to see the manger because he was born at the nativity, but they fed him and they changed his diapers. And you don't have to walk down, it's three stairs, you can see it from here. That's where it is. It's roughly called the stable. Yeah. It's funny because Francesca had a fall in our house one step. So you've done very well. A lot. Very well. What was that? It's a good thing. Yeah. That if you will break that wall, you will reach the Catholic part of the cave. It's the same cave. That. The manger.
Are you sure? She's doing everything. When uh, at Christmas time, according to the Catholic and the Protestant, because there are three different Christmases, they will uh, bring to here, to the manger, uh, Jesus' baby for three weeks. But that's in 25th, 24th, midnight, 25th. Three kings. You can see the three kings manager. Three kings. That's it. Oh, now it's totally empty. I can take a video of it. Excuse me. It's never let I mean for the last year it was so crowded. I don't know who is a saint in my family, but we entered to the grotto. It's something that I was sure that we won't be able to do. Hey guys, whatever you finish from here. I can't believe that we did it. Camille, we did it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And let's go out, please. Family, if you're ready. And we're going out through the Armenian chapel. And this was a miracle. It's still on. Fourth century music law.